Hey everybody, PKL Gamer here, and I'm making another video today. Like I said, I'm putting out more videos, trying to get back on the get back on the, the swing of things. And I saw this today on IGN, Sony to publish Nintendo Switch games under new label Untie's U N T I E S. A new game publishing label has been formed under Sony Music Entertainment Untie's with the intention of publishing games across not just Sony platforms but others, including Nintendo Switch and PC as well. Uh, the first game will be Tiny Metal from developer Area 35 coming to PS4, Switch, and PC next month, November 21st. Um, it's kind of interesting that hmm, this is something that, that Sony is branching out from their own consoles. They're going to go to you know Nintendo stuff and at the same time, they're going to go to the PC. You didn't hear anything about Microsoft. I don't know whether it's kind of the, you know, the button heads. I mean, they really, um, you know, with the cross-platform play, you know, it's kind of in Sony and Microsoft have button heads. So maybe they're still looking at it. Maybe it's coming soon. But Sony, even though it's from the Sony music part of the company, it's still Sony publishing video games on Sony stuff, PC stuff, and Nintendo stuff with the Switch. They like they're going to do 3DS because, you know, I get that. They want to do stuff that goes on the newest console. Maybe Xbox later on. And it's interesting that Sony is doing this because just like IGN bought Humble, Humble Bundle, and there's pros and cons to that, but they're now a publisher of small indie titles. And, of course, they do other stuff with uh, their Humble Bundle brand now, but... Sony is taking, like I said, Area 35, the publishers, ti you know, Tiny Metal, and then they're publishing it for them. That's going to have a Switch release, P PC and PS4. They could get out there and take small developers, say, come to us. We'll get you on the Switch. We'll get you on the PlayStation. Of course, our platform will get you on PC and Microsoft. They'll have to see. They may not put it out there. There may not be a... There may not be anything that happens there, and if that's it, I guess it's Microsoft's choice. Whatever. We don't know. But this is going to be a lot of revenue, or potentially a lot of revenue for Sony. It's going to be the ability for Sony to just get into not just making the hardware, but also publishing across multiple platforms. And it's going to be interesting. Um... I mean, it's not groundbreaking. It's not making... They're not putting Uncharted on the Switch. They're not putting stuff like that. You're not going to see God of War on the PC or stuff like that. Or hell, even on the Switch. But it opens up a whole other avenue for Sony. And I think it's going to be very interesting seeing where they go forward. Is this because they need some more money? Well, I don't know. Is their PlayStation 4 Pro doing that well? Uh, maybe. Maybe. VR is doing okay, I guess. We don't really, you know, we don't see a lot of sales numbers there. I mean, they're doing somewhat. But I'm thinking that Sony is just trying to branch out. We don't, with the Xbox One X coming out next month, we got three weeks. We're still in this seventh, you know, excuse me, eighth generation in the, the halfway or mid-cycle console upgrade. Some people still don't like that term, but what else is there? It's a mid-cycle console upgrade. We're gonna to have to see if they're if the One X doesn't do as well as does about to say as the PS4 Pro it just doesn't do that good. It may be the last time we ever see them. So maybe this is something for Sony to help recoup some of their costs. Maybe this is that Sony is trying to move toward you know publishing everywhere and trying to keep ahead of everybody in the console sales. It's very interesting, but there's not much to say about it. I mean, a little over four minutes here because it's very strange. But it's a good strange, and I like to see differences. And you may not see more than but indie games, but it's cool that Sony, with Unties as their you know their publishing house, is going to publish on Nintendo, Sony, and at least to play a uh, PC. Who knows if Microsoft is going to allow you to do that or not? But we'll have to go out. We we'll have to see what the future brings. I think it's very interesting. Not sure where they're going with it. So what do you think? Everything should have popped up on the screen to subscribe and share. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. This, I mean, like I said, this is groundbreaking. You don't see God of War un, or Uncharted on the Switch or whatever else. But 
who knows what they can grab, what little public you know, developer they can grab the next big indie game and they publish it on other, all the platforms. Maybe except Microsoft, we'll have to wait and see. That's that's big. And it can get, it can net them a lot of profit. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright everybody, PKO Gamer out.